quick, very crude video showing Solark 15K and how the smart load feature is working. Well, currently I'm off grid completely. We have lots of batteries. This is my battery bank. We should probably put a light on. Okay, so I'm using Chargery BMS. And we just came through four days of cloud, but we had one day of sunshine and we're at back to 100% here. Yeah, so this is the BMS system and their 280 amp hour life po 4 batteries configured 16s 4p for quite a bit of whole home backup but we have a larger home so i used an opto coupler for each one and a buck converter to open up a contactor that's in here which you can't see but i have pictures on the diy solar form there's a contactor in here and a 300 amp T-class fuse and that, those are separate for each battery bank and they run into my mechanical room here. It comes through here and then I use a breaker from Signature Solar to shut off each bank positive wire and there's a ground bus bar in there and all my positive bus bar is in that bottom channel and then it comes into the soul arc and I do have a champion eight and a half kilowatt whole home standby generator that kicks on automatically on two wire start uh, from the soul arc and then we have generator coming into grid and this is the gen output, but we use it for the smart load. And I didn't use the automatic transfer switch on the generator, but it came with it. But I still put it to use as the smart load panel. So in the smart load panel, I can flip between smart load or powering the electric hot water tank all the time, even off batteries. But on the smart load side, which is how it is right now, it's on. And we have a fair amount of solar coming in today. I have a 10,700 watt solar array and we're pulling 8.3 kilowatts there. It's charging the batteries with 2.88, but it also, when you see the smart light on, it has 3000 watts powering my electric water heater, which I have in series of the electric hot water tank here, recirculation system through the whole house. First of all, large pressure tank, so the well pump doesn't kick on and off all the time. That goes into here, comes out, over, and I can actually shut off each tank and isolate it if I want, because this tank is an indirect water heater. You can see there's glycol lines coming in, and that's powered from my boiler. But whenever possible, I don't want to use propane. So in this case, the electric hot water heater is doing all the load because it's recirculating into there. I have that thermostat set at about 135 and that one set at 150. So it's always dumping the hotter water into here. And then this one should not come on ever. And that's floor heat through the whole house, which I'm going to try to figure out if I can use the smart load there as well. It's a very efficient house, very airtight, built with nine and a quarter inch walls all insulation no thermal bridging i'll do more a video on that later it's a different wall concept from greenstone building products and yeah there's all the different zones and whatnot but as you can see smart load feature working very well especially when you have a surplus of power um one glitch that i had when i was setting up the generator for anyone who cares if you would go into the charge panel I couldn't get lots of wattage coming out of my generator, but there was a software glitch where you had to up both of these by enabling gen charge and then disabling it, and then it would work. So I don't know if anyone's running this software version here, but apparently it's rectified on the newer one. I just haven't updated it yet. Awesome.